YouTube, what is good? Matt Kennedy here. Always good to see you guys. Happy Wednesday. What is up, champ? Eduardo, Quandale, Chris. What is up, dude? Yeah, we got a new Michael Vick intro, man. You gotta have, you know, gotta change up the intro here and there. Uh, gotta keep the uh, Sunday Night Football theme, but I think you gotta change up the uh, video here and there. Um, what's up, Joe? What's up, D? Good to see you guys. Um, so as you guys know, unfortunately, I was unable to get the golden ticket opportunity for yesterday. I am going to be there, though. Uh, it looks like some of them are 5,000 coins. It's probably random. Some of them are 5,000. Some of them are 200 coins. Looks like now they're all 5,000 here, which is more coins than you think. So if we keep getting 5,000 here, I'll take it. So it's probably random. It's probably a random quick sell if you don't get a golden ticket. But yeah, I mean, unfortunately, we were not there last night for the golden ticket. I am going to be there, though, on the 20th. The 20th is going to be, I want to say, what would that be? That's kind of weird. They're doing it Saturday night. Okay. So the golden tickets will probably roll out the first week of May. I mean, they're going to take some time to get the, the golden tickets all established and stuff. So, uh, maids, I mean, maybe it's next week, but like, it's probably going to be the following week in May. Um, in two weeks, we're already in May. So it's probably going to be the first week of May and it is what it is. Um, yeah, I don't know why I got some 5,000 coins. So I got lucky. That is true, Joe. Uh, or I'm sorry, Quandale. That is very true. We are getting a Ryan Sajir tomorrow, which is definitely a Mutt 19 vibe. Um, he was, uh, there's Demarcus Lawrence there. Like I said, I mean, I'm not really the biggest fan um, of some of that stuff. Um, you know, season six and, you know, all that stuff. Um, that is weird, D. I have no issue with that. But also, I will be honest with you, I have not tried it yet, so... So yeah, so looks like the level rewards here. First of all, I would do your XP head start. Uh, so here we go. First of all, we have two 89 plus BNDs. Let's see if we pull some 97s. Okay, 89 plus BND. And it looks like the first one we get is an 89 Rob Gronk. Just going to be free training. Okay. Um, tomorrow is the NFL draft promo. We should obviously get more out of it. Uh, here's week one stuff. Get a hundred tackles. Um, all that stuff there. I thought they said they're getting rid of daily goals. I thought someone said that they're getting rid of daily goals. Oh, is that for the compass? They definitely upped the XP as well. It looks like, or maybe I'm tripping or something. I don't know, but yeah, I mean, we got to do the Season 6 exchange set. So I'm not really sure if we can just look up exchange. Is that how it's going to pop up? Yeah, I don't really know how they want us to do this. I think sometimes this glitches out, guys. So how I would do it is just go in your item binder. But yeah, you get 20,000 XP head start if you got that done. They got rid of Daily Tracker. Okay, got it. Thank you, Chris and company. Yeah, Shazir will be pretty expensive. I mean, to be fair, there are a lot of good linebackers now in the game. But Shazir, I mean, he's going to be good, trust me. But let's see if anyone went up or down in price. Aaron Donald is still 1.2. We probably should have held on to my other investments. Uh, 1.2 is pretty good profit if you bought him for under a million. Uh, that's literally going to be about over 100k profit guaranteed. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm just going to keep the Aaron Donald I have right now. We'll probably sell him eventually, but yeah. Akeem Talib, we got him for free. He was my free choice. Um, he's about 700k-ish. Um, I'm not going to get him and Chris Harris. I'll wait for the other one, but getting him for free was really good, obviously. I have no regret in that choice uh, for the free secure tackler versus Eric Dickerson. Carmichael is 890. I'm selling him right now. So if he sells for 890, I will gladly buy a different receiver here. There is no way he should be 890, dude. I mean, they're going to drop some kind of receiver tomorrow, dude. There's no way they drop no receivers, dude. If we can get away with this, I mean, even for 860, 
if we can get away with this, I mean, that would be like almost two two seventy profit. I like Carmichael, I really do, but if we can get this profit, I'm gonna take it. So let's see here for three minutes. Coin making methods here. Are we able to flip Carmichael? Nice job, Ricky. I mean, what's up, Chris? Yeah, I mean, dude, I I mean, I really have no problem with you guys waiting for your free 99. I mean, that's probably what you should do. It's just, for me, I kind of want to leave gameplay. I really don't think Carmichael's going to sell here, but we got to at least give it like a minute or two here. Um, going over other positions here, um, let's check Evan Brown. Team captains finally have reduced abilities. Uh, Evan Brown's back to 500k. Let's go. That's good. Um, nice, Nate. Yeah, free wide receiver. Nice. Uh, Tyrell Lockett. So, I mean, I really don't think Carmichael's going to sell for that much. But, I mean, no ma I mean, at least Heinz Ward is back to 700k. So, they're not dropping any wide receivers tomorrow except maybe Lockett. But, uh, nice. Bland's good. So, the thing is, is wide receivers, they may go up in price right now because there's no reveals. There's no season six wide receiver, and there's just been no good wide receiver. I mean, they did drop a wide receiver, though, for Wildcard Wednesday, right? Tank Dell. But yeah, I mean, mine, mine right now is 860. So if he sells for 860, I'll take it. So I'm not, I mean, I mean, I mean, you know, you're, you're not going to see me complain. So let's go ahead and see if we can cash in our bag here. What's up, Smokey? So this would be a big payday for me for profit. That is true. Uh, let's see, uh, Troy P, JJ Watt. They didn't really drop a DN yet. Uh, so it looks like Polo Milo is same thing, 750. I mean, I'm just going to keep Troy P. I mean, his stack is still insane. Um, I am going to run mid zone on him, though, instead of flat zone. Just how the scheme works. I wish he had medium route for zero. If he had medium route for zero and man coverage, it's over. As a safety, that's overpowered. So I'm going to change him to mid zone because that's how the scheme works better. Um, let's see, JJ Watt, Michael Vick. Oh, I forgot, dude. I didn't even tell my, my YouTube video this. I literally pulled Tommy Harris. I pulled Tommy Harris. He has free interior threat, free inside stuff. Or not free inside stuff, free secure tackler. So he's pretty much a better Warren Sapp. Similar body weight, um, and he just has great stats. So we'll see how he plays. But first game with him, so we, we pulled him Monday night. So, I mean, that's pretty cool to get a free 98. I mean, that's kind of a bailout. Uh, Charles Tillman here. Still a solid 300k, which is good. Uh, but I mean, I like his ability stack with Y2K Chem. Um, yeah, team captains have ability discounts. So if you want to go in and get that, go ahead. Uh, Jake Elliott is 300k there. Nice. Um, yeah, lucky for sure, dude. So yeah, I have no idea if he's going to sell here, dude. If not, I'm just going to use him. It is what it is. I mean, I'm probably just going to use him. People are undercutting, whatever. I mean, I'm shocked that, I mean, the one thing I'll tell you guys is there were, there were so many on the block and now there's like none. So that is weird to me a little bit. Now there's just like nothing on the block for Carmichael. And there were like hundreds. So that means a lot of people are using him. Like, a lot of people have him. So, so yeah, I mean, just do mid-in, nightmare. So, yeah, I mean, nothing has really changed that dramatically. But to be fair, they haven't really dropped content yet. Um, they're going to obviously drop content tomorrow and this weekend more. Um, so besides that, the team is the same. We do have a keep to leave gameplay, Tommy Harris gameplay. Uh, watch out for those defensive acquisitions. Um, special teams, Elliot, uh, McAfee. Um, 
and you know things like that so there's that um change this up here why don't i play all madden well dude like it is better competition but at the end of the day the games are longer they're five minute quarters and also my biggest reason is if I go right now to uh, online head-to-head, -head, okay, and I, I mean, maybe I already showed you this, but I'm literally in rookie mode. Like, I'm not going to restart my progress. I mean, even though I'm in veteran right now, like, if I'm, I mean, if I'm literally in veteran and I'm struggling, I'm going to do worse in all Madden. So, because all Madden is going to have more sweats. So, like the, like, the regular is literally sweaty enough. Like, it's not even a thing of, like, being better than you. It's, like, it's just so sweaty. And it's just, like, if, like, I mean, I don't even want to know how sweaty that is. You know, like, I mean, you probably are a better player than me if you play that. But, I mean, I just, like, there's just no way, dude. Like, I, like, for me, dude, I, like, I just can't. So do not forget the XP head start here. So let me go ahead here really quick. So if I go right now to uh, newest, I should have got that collectible at some point here. Um, let me see here. Where is my season six collectible? There it is right there. So I would I would go to the collectible and then exchange set. And then that pretty much gives you what? Level three for free. So we go from level one to level. Not even level three, damn. I mean, it still helps you, but. All right, gold player pack, here we go. 86, 85, not bad at all. 83, all right, for a gold player pack, whatever. All right, so anyway, that's that. So. What is my plan on my team? Well, right now we have 5.9 mil, okay? So might as well call it 6 million coins. I grind, I grind, I do this, do that. We have 6 million coins, okay? If I sell my entire team, Michael Vick, Heinz Ward, Carmichael, uh, if I sell Aaron Donald, we probably have over 11 million coins. Um, I would say around plus or minus 11 mil exactly, okay? We do have more BNDs than you think though, okay? So with that said, okay, obviously we have enough coins, okay? So I'm not really worried about coins. At this point, it's a matter of when do you sell your team, you know, this, that, and whatever. Well, again, NFL Draft Promo is coming out tomorrow. Uh, you guys already saw this really quick, probably on Mutt GG, but um, the reveals, Todd Gurley, he definitely is really good. But again, so is Bo Jackson, so is Dickerson. He is, you know, being an LTD, being an LTD, he is definitely going to be more expensive than Dickerson. Probably like 850, 950, even a million coins. You know, unless you get some overpowered NFL draft, you know, boost or something or com combine boosts. I really don't see why Todd Gurley would be that much more attractive. Uh, Ryan Sajir, obviously really good. Obviously a really good card. One of the more glitchier linebackers in the game in Mutt history. The only problem is, again, do you want to spend those coins when you, like for me, I have a free Zayvon Collins and a free John Madden. So right now I'm using even Zayvon Collins, who has some boost here and there. He literally has a mid zone uh, KO and uh, Lurk Artist for one AP. For one AP, it's fine. Sajir, he may get it for zero AP, right? To up his cost. But I mean, honestly, Collins plays fine for me. Remember, mid zone KO is a must. It also secretly, what it does secretly is it actually makes your players react better in those zones. The compass ends in eight days. Time flies. Um, well, I guess nine days because it's eight days and 14 hours. So might as well call it almost nine days. But you have nine days left. Keep doing your daily goals. Mine's pretty easy today. Five tackles, big deal. 30 tackles, big deal. Record a pick. We better get a pick. So we are going to get max level 
We are literally over 100 away. 100 away is literally like three daily goals. So if I do three daily goals and I literally do some more head-to-head -head seasons, right there's two, right there's five, right there is six. So we are going to add up and get enough here. We should be able to get, um, I might play one, one Mutt Champ game. You win one, one Mutt Champ game, you get 30. So we're going to max it out on Saturday, Saturday morning in my stream. I'll stream it. We will get three UL packs on Saturday morning. So if you want to join my stream Saturday, boom, three UL packs will be opened up and 50K. So we pretty much maxed out our bank. So that is pretty much a recap of season six and also the comp pass. I'm pretty excited for that. Um... Yeah, it is pretty sweaty, bro. I mean, I will. Res I mean, there was a point back in December. I, I mean, I swear to God, in whether you believe me or not, in December, I won four Super Bowls in a row, almost five. Um, we lost in the playoff game, or whatever. But like, we won four Super Bowls in a row and had to have seasons. Do you know how many coins we made? Because back in December, it was like Andrew Luck. I had Andrew Luck, Dre Archer. Speaking of, there's Randy Moss. There with chill card right there. I don't know why he has him though. Still probably a BND version. Um, I mean, we've played good football before. It's just I don't know why we've. Been, I mean, it has been more, more sweats. What do you mean? Don't panic, spell Smokey. Um, you know, I you know, I really don't know if we're at ninety nines by now. I'm not sure if we have an overall increase or not, but probably Jaden Justice, yeah. I mean, the meta, the meta is very similar. I mean, you're going to see people still run double post and whatever. It's just, I mean, yeah. So again, what's my goal? I mean, dude, like, I feel like for me, I'm kind of just waiting to see who drops and whatever. Um, you know, once I see who drops, I'm going to see, hey, how many coins are they? Um, you know, what's their ability stack? You know, things like that. So right now, I'm kind of just waiting to see, you know, who drops in the game and, you know, things like that. So here comes the Blitz. Actually, no Blitz. Damn it, dude. I had X for big yards. You got a little build out there, dude. So dumb, dude. The three-man rush, no one can freaking block, dude. Like, what are you doing? To be fair, though, he's running cover three, so if he runs cover three, he'll be a cover beater here, so good luck, buddy. Playmaker, let's go. Finally, the pocket holds. Good job, boys. I mean, this three-man rush is not going to do anything. Dude. Free play. It's a free play anyway. He is good. Oh, true Smokey, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I know you're right. Thrill, Vic. Like I said, guys, I am back to trust. If they if they user strip me, it's whatever. Right now we're two and zero. Let's go for a playoff push.
There's no way you get this game is honestly so dumb. You can't, dude. That is so pathetic. I mean, I should have ran. I mean, it's whatever, dude. That is my fault. To be fair. We could have ran. There's Talib in on that secure tackle. So this guy's already running stretch. GG. Dude, we should have ran. That's my fault. But still, like, dude, come on. Like, he was guarding two guys at once, bro. That's why Ted Hendricks, bro, is a fucking dog. Ugh. Where's the pass rush? Where is the pass rush? He had all day. Oh my lord. I mean, I'm gambling my user, bro. Well, can someone give me a pass rush? I mean, we do gamble way too much in this game, but to be fair, if you just give me a pass rush, it won't happen. Like, what are you doing? He had all day and a four-man rush. So yeah, I mean, NFL Draft promo, I mean, I like the LTDs. It's just, again, keep in mind, there are a lot of good positions in this game, so. We don't have trust yet. I think we have trust now, but. Yeah, he has first, yeah. He has first free tra uh, tank. If he had an X Factor, I would have used him. Because he has 99 speed as well. I don't know how he got an Insta Shed. This game is weird, dude. I'm telling you. Oh, he has the. Okay. Bruz. Not worried about fumbling, trust. If you user strip me, you earned it. I mean, this guy is just sitting in cover three, dude. It's not even a good defense. He got an interception, bro. It's whatever. I mean, that's more my mistake than his, you know, treasure. Because literally, dude, I, like, I mean, I make a lot of, I mean, I make a lot of mistakes in this game. I mean, we're a very raw player. A lot of good things we do, a lot of bad things we do. It all offsets. He is, Jaden. I mean, I I mean, I mean, use him because of the free, secure tackler. That really helps versus the meta, so. Well, right now, he's not blitzing right now. It's just a three-man rush, right? I mean, unless I'm stupid. But yeah, guys, the NFL drafts in one week exactly. So, well, it's in eight days. So it's going to be here before you know it. You have to possession that. I don't know why my players don't possession catch, but they're being little delinquents. Do your job, dude. Like, come on. I don't know why he's playing that route, dude. To be fair, I mean, whatever. That's my fault. I mean, I've already said, I, I, I mean, whatever. That, I mean, that's, that's my fault. 
Because he had a quarterback spy. Whatever, game's over. That one we can't really make excuses for. Because that I mean I rushed that throw too. There's no reason to rush a throw, dude. All right, that's some bullshit. Wow. Got quarterback in Tainon, bro. Can you guard him? Why does his player stop? Mine would have been illegal touching. All right, whatever, buddy. Move on. My player would have been illegal touching. So I don't understand how his player stops. So we're also no pass rush all game. So bad. We gamble, but I'm with, you know, where's my pass rush? Four man rush, get in there, dude. That is true if you have training, yep. I mean, this is where three unstoppable forces is just God. Me being a bad player there. I mean, when you use the safety, that's what you get. But to be fair, I like playing the safety. It's more fun. I mean, I know my mistake. It's just, I'm just gambling. That's all I'm doing. When you take gambles in life, there's repercussions.
second and third. Yeah, I like all day, dude. I like all day. I love it. I have not played anyone who has two tokens on the Ring of Honor players, but I mean, we will definitely see. I mean, I threw two picks that game, dude. It's whatever. I mean, I lost that game. I made mistakes. I mean, if you make mistakes, you lose the game. It, it, it's really that simple. Sometimes you get cheated. And, you know, you lose that way, too. You play good, you're probably going to win the game. And that's just common sense. Oh, got it, Joe. Nice. That's cool, dude. Finally, Bo Possession catches it. You know how many times he didn't do that? I mean, geez. He's blitzing. Just get rid of it. Yeah, I'm sorry, Chris. That's how it always goes, dude. Probably RPO bubble too, Chris. Good blocking here by my whole line. Good shit. Good shit, Bo. Good shit. You're not stopping that, dude. No. Let's bounce back and go three and one, bro. We gotta move. One thing I'll say, dude, is that like it's not necessarily legends, you know, MVP, you know, it's not really necessarily that they're tougher players. It's just you get more coins and it's harder to be demoted. Or it's harder to be promoted or stay promoted. So, I mean, legends, you have to make the playoffs every season. And maybe you guys do that again, good for you, but I mean, all it takes is one bad disconnect or one bad lucky game, and you're demoted. So, like I said, I mean, damn, Chris. Yeah, it is hard, Chris. It is hard. Well, this guy's already running Gun Bunch Offset. Wish me luck here. Well, this guy, I'm not really sure what happened, but he just got a disconnect. So I got a free win. I'm not, I mean, I'm not really sure what happened there. We got the win, but maybe his internet legitly shut off. I really have no idea. We'll take the free win. Playoffs coming up here, hopefully. Right now we're 3-1. and one. Two more wins, playoffs. Here we go. Four wins is a promotion for me. That's how bad we are right now in divisions. We're in veterans, so. I'm not going to brag about our wins, dude, because we literally are in a bad division. All right, so that is 
his team, we have almost the same top three. All right, here we go. Damn. All right, bro, run cover three, see what happens. All right, just stay in cover three, buddy. Cool. Sounds good to me. I literally have a touchdown if you give me fucking time, dude. He's just going to camp in cover three. He thinks he's so untouchable, dude. Game is so bad, bro. Oh, bad. Again, I could have ran there, dude. I'm not. We're not making good choices tonight, guys. At all. Yeah, I forgot Bo can't be hissed on kickoffs, which is good. Dude, we have a cover beater versus cover three. He keeps running cover three. Can I just have time in the pocket, dude? All right, finally. Oh, man, dude. He's not, dude. These people are just sitting cover three, dude. I like Heinz Ward. He's pretty good. We're probably going to sell him, though, eventually, obviously. Can't keep someone forever. Good throw, Vic. 
Not, I mean, dude, it's not Michael Vick's fault, dude. We have lost a lot of games recently, but definitely not his fault. I mean, he's making his throws. Last one, Truss. Good free form there. Good free form, Vic. Good job. Good pass that time. Good read. Free form work. One thing I'll say as well is it is the move to use far, far uh, free form. The only problem is that if you use far free formed, you're going to miss more throws unless you practice heavily. So there's free form passing near. And there's obviously far free form. Oh, this guy loves running one play, doesn't he? Should be picked. All right. These guys, they, they, they just love to abuse stuff, don't they? Runs one play on offense, one play on defense. Like, dude. I mean, come on. Man. I mean, at this point, I mean, I, I, I'm not, I mean, I'm done yelling at it, dude. I mean, I am a little upset, but at the end of the day, I mean, why, why, I mean, why scream about it? First of all, I thought I benched Ridley, dude. Oh my kickoff! Hey, what's up, Mike? Yeah, pretty much, Mike. Damn. What's up, Strong Woods? How you doing, dude? Yeah, you're not going to pick that off, buddy. If you had Ted Hendricks, maybe. All right, here we go. Pretty much strong woods, yeah, but easier set. I mean, I'm going to have to chew the whole half here because, I mean, you got to babysit versus these players, dude. It's sickening. I had guys open, dude.
What's up, Trippin? How you doing, dude? Big day tomorrow, man. NFL draft promo. I'm excited. Not much to say there. Yeah, football. I mean, he ran two plays. I mean, I'm not even worried about it. Man. Whatever. I mean, like, if you literally run the cheesiest play in the game and you beat me, dude, whatever. I mean, if he ran, like, at least 10 plays, I would say it's all me. I mean, we suck, but he ran two plays the entire game. I mean, don't beat yourself up for it. Fuck it. I mean, you know, like, whatever, bro. I mean, he's a bum. This actually might be Jake Stein. Jake Stein is actually an EA dev person. I'm going to Google him. He is a Tampa Bay Bucks fan. And he has uh, a Bucks team team. He has Mike Evans and... I don't know if this is actually Jake Stein, but Jake Stein is a Bucks fan. This, I mean, this could be Jake Stein, and he, I mean, he's a Bucks fan, and his name, his name is Jake Stein. This actually could be the. I forget what his title is. He's a lead producer. He's a lead producer for Madden NFL football. So, I mean, again, this really could be the real Jake Stein. Because, I mean, I'm not really sure why it wouldn't. I mean, he like, he has a Bucks theme team. So, I mean, like, you could be trolling and acting like... Like, this guy could be... Like, he could be acting like he's Jake Stein. But, like, I just don't really know why you would do that. Like, hey, I'm going to make a fake name. I mean, he has a full box theme team. I see Tristan Wirfs. I don't know if I'm going to get on the mic, dude. But yeah, this is Jake Stein. That is pretty cool. What's up, Mr. Amazing? Yeah, you got to choose who to choose first. I mean, I would choose to tackle. He's the most usable, but I definitely respect all sides. The Strack Glitch? No, what's the Strack Glitch, Noah Brown? Probably Strongwoods, you're right. I don't know why Bo is missing throws for him. He's getting screwed over here. Oh, God, Noah. The only problem is, is that I don't think, I don't think you guys would be able to hear him. I don't think you would be able to hear him. The way the stream is set up, you can't hear him. I could. I mean, I like, I mean, I like, I just don't know why he would lie or why someone would do this. 
Like he's, I mean, plus he's not really cheesing me. He's 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 running a real offense. I mean, it's probably legitly Jake Stein. Oh God, Mike, that's crazy, Nick. Jeez, Louise. Congratulations, dude. What's up, Jace? What a throw. Yeah, we missed out on it, dude. That RPO is hard to stop. Sub colors. Yeah, it is sad, dude. Uh, I get it, man. He's saying something in the mic. I don't know if he's talking shit or what. He said something in the mic, dude. Shit. Michael Irvin, I'm dead. Yeah, Eric Dickerson, dude. Goddamn. He has killed a lot of teams, dude. Let me tell you that right now. Pretty much, Joe. I could tell you right now, if he's talking shit, that's not going to be Jake Stein. Definitely a bullshit play right there. I know, colors, it's bad. Trust me, it's bad, dude. Yeah, thanks, bro. Yeah, Eric, dude, that's why I that's why like you need secure tacklers, dude. We lose, we're eliminated, dude. This is it. Free play. I mean, dude, we have, like, I mean, I want to say that my secure tacklers, I have, like, six. No, I have five. I have five. My entire D-line has it, and then Tlaib. Good dot that time. Let's go. That's a touchdown. His whole body's in the end zone. What's wrong with this game, dude? Come on.
He can't, dude. Good throw, Vic. We're going for two, dude. All right, eight seven. We got the lead. How come colors draft combine? I get it, dude. I'm probably getting some ice cream at Dairy Queen, dude. Like, I don't really care. I just want some ice cream tonight. How is the Sixers in the Heat doing, dude? I hope the Guardians are winning. Let's go, let's go to the Guardians game right now, dude. Are the Guardians winning? No, they are not. And we're going to lose 2 nothing. Shit. Couldn't even freaking score, bro. Come on. I mean, it is what it is. Whatever. We won three games in a row. We got to lose sometimes baseball I'm not gonna give up on the Guardians but it's probably over people always juke bro like just anticipate it That's all you, John. That's all you, John. Miami Heat are winning, bro. I freaking knew I should have took plus five and a half. Freaking knew it. Why were the Miami Heat five point underdogs? Like, they're winning by five, bro. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I will own up to it. But, the like, the Miami Heat are a good team. And I know the sixes are pretty good. Like, whatever. But, dude, you make the Miami Heat underdogs. That's that. That's your fault. They went to the NBA Finals last year. I mean, I love the Heat. I'm a Cavs fan, but, I mean, I respect the Heat a lot. True, Joe, true. Oh, the record? Oh, yeah, for sure, dude. Oh, Acrobat, true colors, true. Acrobat's not what it was two years ago, though. But, I mean, I get what you're saying, dude. I do. Nice throw, Vic, dumbass. Uh, we're going to go for it. Why not? I'm just going to run my infamous play. It works more times than you think. Good play, but stay in bounds, bro. Two more clock. Good dot there, Vic. Good job going for it. That was risky, but to be fair, no risk it, no biscuit. Good shit, Bo. Let's go. If we win, we're promoted no matter what. We're four and three. Win or go home for playoffs, but... A money play? I mean, I had the Browns playbook, bro. I might not have it. Well, we'll see, dude. I mean, you're playing the Nuggets.
Bro, how bad are these pursuit angles? Oh my god. That may have been the worst pursuit angles I've ever seen in my entire life. I was in prevent defense by accident, but I like I have no idea how that happened. Oh, dagger? Yeah, I see it, dude. Dude, I mean, I'm not gonna, I mean... I appreciate your insight colors, but I'm probably not going to run it, dude. I don't know how it's almost picked. Roz. Yeah, trust this, baby. Oh, yeah. There it, is. there it is, Eduardo. Oh, yeah. I love it. Reform that puppy. Go, Bo. Tank. Let's go, Bo. Come on. Good freeform there, Vic. Up by nine, dude. Never give up. For playoffs. We get ball at half, too, so this game could be over. I'm not sure, Diogo. Probably. This is a big drive, dude. You can't let him get out of bounds, bro. Come on.
Really strong woods. Nice. Hope it works out, man. This is it, dude. We can't get demoted. This is it. Last check on the Guardians. And 2 0 final. Damn it. Let's check the Miami Heat score again. The Miami Heat are up by five. Yeah, good night, dude. Hope you study well. Take care. Nice job, Strong Woods. Nice. Yeah, I heard about that win. Nice job, dude. Finally, they possession catch. Jeez. It's been about 25 years, right? Finally, do what I want them to do.
All right, here we go. All right, 30 that that's that's anger runs for you. All right, 3027. Here we go, Jake Stein. Let's do it. This is to get promoted. Pretty much. One one more stop could end the game, dude. Keyword could. He slid a half second too late. I feel bad for him. That's why you have to have trust, dude. You have to have trust. He may have just lost the game now. That's why you don't get Dickerson and you just get Bo Jackson, dude. I can shoot more clock indirectly. I'm telling you guys, that's why, dude, Bo Jackson's still legit. Probably is, Noah. Bo Jackson is just so hard to stop. I mean, they're both so hard to stop. You can't stop spacing. If he stops spacing every single route, I'll, I'll, I'll give him credit. Spacing is one of the best plays in the red zone. It literally spaces out the entire defense. We may have won this game off a of technicality. He slid a half second too late. And he was not on conservative because he's juking a lot. Definitely not a bad player here, Jake Stein. I mean, he had some really good throws. This game is not even over yet. I mean, I could lose it, but at least we played good. I mean, we played a good game. Really all I can ask for. I don't know how he was in bounds. That should have been out of bounds. Stop the clock. Helps me. Secure tackler, there's Shelby Harris, or Tommy Harris, sorry.
We got lucky that was KO'd because that probably could have been caught. Good play, Troy P. All right, dude. Holy shit. Quality win there. That guy was pretty good in his throw. I mean, that was actually a good player. I may have won that game, but maybe he was the better player because he made some good throws. Like, I will admit, he, I mean, what, you know, I don't care if that's the real Jake Stein or what. I mean, he made some good throws. So, all right. Playoffs or not will be decided right here. Right now we're four and two. Will we have a playoff stream tomorrow or not? The Cavs in the playoffs? Eh. I mean, we are kind of a choking team. I mean, we're going against Michael Vick like four games out of five, dude. Pretty bad. Going against Hester, bro. Well, there's the great Devin Hester. Devin Hester. All right, man, here we go. Well, gun bunch offset versus Michael Vick and Dickerson. Not good, dude. Not good. And he's running the outside arm. Yeah, we, we probably could be fucked. And he's running single back wing slot. I mean, I think I figured out how to stop it. I think I did. I could be wrong. You have to blitz your corners. You have to blitz your corners. Now he's going to run to the left. I'm going to guess run to the left now. You got to take some gambles. That was the dumbest play call ever. That's not good. I mean, if you're going to run all glitchy shit, bro, you know what I'm saying?
Field goal there is huge, dude. Oh, he's running that defense. Come on, dude. Good shit, Carmichael. Hey, you're good flight. 15 hour shift. Holy crap, dude. Jeez. Good drive so far, guys. Let's go. Yeah, Bo Jackson is going off in this stream, bro. To be fair, it's more my 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 ball carrier vision, but yeah. We gotta get a stop, bro. This is it. Oh, for sure, flight. All right, let's see who's going to win. Miami Heat or... Miami Heat or the Sixers. Obviously, it's important. The winner gets a seventh seed, so... 89-88. It's a really close game. Four minutes left. If you want to go watch it, go watch it, bro. So, we got to finish this game. This is for the playoffs right here. We're four and three, win or go home. That's a big time sack. Charles Tillman should end the quarter. Let's see, and it will. Bo Jackson is playing great for me, bro. Absolutely. To win or to cover? To win or to cover the spread? Nice flight. Hope they win for you, dude. Just split your corners and it stops it. That's literally all you have to do. What's up, Chad? I mean, it's pretty cool, dude. All you have to do is stop the RPO is just blitz those corners on that right side. 
So I feel like that's kind of just obsolete for me now. It's these small things that you just learn, 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 get better, get better, get better, you know, whatever. It's a big time sat there. I mean, by Arakpo. I mean, dude, if we hold him to, to two field goals, bro, that's nothing. I mean, obviously it matters, you know, whatever, but dude. Let's go, Tlaib, undercut. That's a big-time interception in a big-time game. That's huge for me, dude. Absolutely huge. Wow, Luke Musgrave, what the heck is this? I've never seen that, dude. That is crazy. He's that fast? That's what 99 speed is, right? Shit. I've never seen that breakaway speed from the big boy. Holy crap. Smart coach in there to chew clock here and fall down. I really don't want to score. Good, don't score. Good, don't score. Good. Don't score. If I can't score in three handoffs, we suck. All right, we wasted enough clock. If he scored, he scores. He should not run RPOs. He has a minute left, and he has two timeouts only. We might make the playoffs, bro, for tomorrow. That's good. Let's go, dude. Yeah, I know, Chad. So bad. One more turnover. He kind of has to quit. Our red zone defense is literally two for two for stopping the touchdown. So, playoffs is always a win in my book. No matter how you get there. All right. Well, I mean, this, this game looks over in my books. We have to severely choke. We get ball at half, too. He's going to run his gun bunch here, bro. We got to just lock down. Big time sat there by WAP. Just let the clock run out, dude. He'll do his hurry up. Trust me. KO, baby. Let's go. Finally, it's my turn for that KO bullshit. Nice throw, dumbass. Go, John Madden. Get in the end zone, dude. Let's go. 6-4, beast. All right, that is it, guys. Playoffs. All right. So I am playing playoffs tomorrow, though, only because, again, I am getting ice cream. Plus, I want to finish the end of the Heat game. So. Um, so, yeah, guys, I will see you guys tomorrow. I will play a lot for sure. NFL draft, uh, NFL draft promo will be live. Um, I'm not really sure what time I'll stream. It could be a late stream. It could be right away stream. We don't know yet. Uh, but I will be playing my playoff game tomorrow and all that stuff. Uh, remember, guys, I am going to be max. Uh, we're already level four, which you guys are probably a higher level than me, okay? All you got to do, obviously, uh, the only way, okay, we're going to get XP from the uh, NFL draft pass, okay? The only way to get XP right now is through the uh, daily goals, which we finished it. Uh, obviously, do daily goals. Uh, the week one is pretty easy. Get 10 interceptions. We already have four in one day. Uh, 100 tackles, right? Easy. 
pass yards really easy. So really, the high, the highest you can be is level seven. I'm pretty, I mean, I could be wrong. Level seven is the highest you should be able to be. Today, today was the first day. Obviously, it's going to be a 56-day thing, um, which 56 days is eight weeks, which is crazy. So this is going to last us eight weeks because eight times seven. So eight weeks of this is crazy. So yeah, so some of you guys are doing good for that. Awesome. Again, for the comp pass. Okay. Um. Yep, see you later, flight. Sal Lawrence Taylor back. Yeah. Oh, wow. Daily goals. We got an epic strat item. Nice. Uh, I'm not sure yet, Nate. We will definitely see who I go with based on their stats and all that stuff. So I will examine that more tomorrow once I get the levels to do so. So once I get, uh, wh uh, where is it, guys? Rewards. So once I get level six, I will evaluate it more. Um, the comp pass, I already told you guys, I am going to get it in about three days. So literally on Saturday, on Saturday, I'm going to get it with ease, uh, three UL packs. They made the comp pass way too long, bro. Like they made it 56 days. So maybe it was 60 days. I don't know, but like they made it eight weeks. So if you didn't get max level, it is what it is, but that's why I told you guys, don't really play that many Mutt Champs. Don't play Soul Battles at all. You really don't need to. Just do your daily gold. Um, is there anyone I would sell right now before we head out? Playoffs tomorrow. Make sure you guys are there, hopefully, and NFL Draft promo. Heinz Ward for seven fifty. I mean, that's the cheapest. I mean, he's good. But, like, remember, receivers are very replaceable. So he only has 98 speed though, even though he's really good. I'm gonna try to sell him for 800k. Um, I don't really think he'll sell for that much, but um, I mean, I'm just gonna put him up. Eh, we'll put him up for like 770. If he sells overnight, great. It's a free chance. Carmichael, I'm thinking same thing. I mean, they're you know they, they might. I mean, you know, new promo tomorrow might drop the market. You know, whatever. He's about 700, goes up to 750. I'm just going to put him up overnight for like 780. If he sells overnight for 780, I would call that a W. Because uh, remember, guys, I mean, we're getting golden tickets in under two weeks now. I would say two weeks or under. So, you know, we're going to get so, I mean, Carmichael's now been out for, it. it's hard to believe, but two and a half weeks since Easter. So it's been two and a half weeks since Easter. So like, He's already had his time to shine. It's not like he's going to be the shiny toy for like four more weeks on top of this. I mean, he is very usable. He is. But like, he can't be the best forever. They're going to drop some new ones soon. Um, That is true, Eduardo. Um, Aaron Donnelly, you kind of have to keep him. Evan Brown, I'm going to keep him because I mean, you know, your old line matters. Not many good BND centers. And plus, he's pretty expensive and rare anyway. Just keep him. Um, I don't really see his value going down. Uh, St. Brown depends how much he's going for here. Let's just see how much he's going for. I mean, I would definitely say 500 k to sell. That's not even a question. There's just a wide receiver shortage. We have not had any good wide receivers all week. Obviously, for AKA, it was, you know, Aqib Tlaib, Chris Harris, and then it was uh, the limited time. Who was the limited time, dude? I forget who the LTD was. Oh, yeah, it was Jamal Adams. So, Jamal Adams. So, I mean, we've had a wide receiver shortage. I mean, today we got, a, you know, an LTD. If he sells for 500K, bro, I mean, I, like, I mean I'd be shocked. If we get 500, 550K out of this card, St. Brown, I'd be pretty damn shocked. That'd be 50K profit. I mean, I bought him for, four, I mean, all, all wide receivers now are up. So if you want to sell, I would definitely, I mean, I'm going to try for 550. It's really a free chance. Um, So those are three sells for me. Anyone else, I'm going to keep their Ring of Honor cards because of their ability buckets. They get like three good abilities or X factors for sure. Uh, that's a no brainer in my opinion. Besides that, I love my corners, love my team. I'm fine with my team right now. I have no complaints. Uh, But the wide receivers, they're just so replaceable. 
if they're up and up in price for profit, take those profit margins and just, you know what I'm saying? Like I, you know, I'm not going to win or lose based on my wide receiver. Uh, it's going to be the KOs, my reads, my run game, Michael Vick, my defense, um, Y receivers are, you know, even in the NFL, trust me, I love Amari Cooper. He makes great plays. But again, Y receivers, they are the most replaceable position in the NFL. They say it's the running back. I don't agree with that. Um, you know, I, I mean, Y receivers, I would say you need one great star on your team to like draw some attention, you know, draw, draw some double team coverage. But like, you know, there's just so many wide receivers. I mean, you know, look at this NFL class. You know, Marvin Harrison, Romeo Duze, whatever. Um, I mean, there's just so many good wide receivers. Um, there's just there's just so many. So like, it's not like you're gonna win or lose based on that. So that's Eduardo. That is true, Eduardo. That is true. To, to be fair, you don't really need wide receiver apprentice, though, if you have a uh, master tactician. All right, bye, guys. Take care. Peace. See you guys tomorrow for playoffs.